guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a peach spring kind of look with lots of oranges and reds and so we're just going to hop right in. So we're going to start off by priming our face. The first thing that I'm going to use is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer and we are just going to press this on to the face. It's been a while since I've actually recorded so it's really nice to kind of sit down and just chit chat with you guys. And you guys seem to like the chit chat video more so than the voiceover. So now that we've prepped our skin, I'm actually going to be trying out another new foundation. This is the Stila Aqua Glow, and this is in the shade Light. Ooh, it's very, very liquidy. Oh, wow, that's very liquidy. I also purchased some new brushes. One of them, which I'm going to show you right now, I don't know if I'm a big fan of, and it is the Morphe brush, and it's in the M444. And it's a new brush, but it's too dense for my liking. Yeah. I'm not a fan of this brush. I feel like it just sucks up all of the product. I feel like I'm punching myself because it's so heavy. I will say this foundation feels really good on my skin. I'm not going to use this. I don't know. I just don't feel like it's worth your money. I feel like it soaks up all of the makeup. So I'm just going to dip my finger again back into this. And we're just going to do a second layer. It's not really covering up the spots that I need. We're going to try one more method. And we're just going to stipple that on and then blend it out. Yes. This is the brush. Should have done it from the beginning. Oh well. Next, we're going to move on to my under eyes. I'm going to be using two different concealers. The first one is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And this is in the shade Ivory. And it is very, very light. So we're just going to apply that under the eyes. I'm also going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this is in the shade Light Pale. And I'm just going to go right underneath. Oops, let me just get a little bit more. This is going to help blend out this concealer. And then for my pimples, I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. So I'm just going to take a little bit from the pot and place it right there on those nasty pimples. To buff this out, I'm going to be using the Morphe M335 brush. And I am just going to gently pat this under the eye. And then the spots that I need to actually buff it out... I am just going to swirl the brush and blend everything out. But I really do love this brush. I just got this brush. Josh and I went to LA for the day. We stopped by Morphe and I picked up a couple of products, which you'll see in this video. And this was definitely one of them. And I am obsessed with this brush. And I actually prefer this over a beauty blender because it doesn't pick up the product. It just kind of buffs everything in to place. To set that into place, we're going to be using the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Powder. And I'm just going to press that under the eyes. And then to set the face, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Press Powder. I am going to be taking the Sephora 55 brush, swirl that onto my brush, and then I'm just going to press that all over the skin. I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer because I want you to be able to focus on the eyes because that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. I take my finger and I'm just going to gently pat that onto the eye. Now for today's look, I'm going to be using this palette right here. This is the Morphe 350 palette. We are going to set the eyes with a mixture of these two shades right here. And I'm just going to swirl my brush into both of those and pat those two colors all over the lid. So now we're gonna start with the crease. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, this one right there. And I'm gonna be using this brush by Morphe, and this is the Morphe G24 brush. It is fantastic. So I'm just gonna tap my brush in there, and I'm just gonna dust this into the crease, but allowing it to also go on the lid as well. It's just gonna be a beautiful transition shade. I'm just gonna really pack in this color, blending it on the lid, but mostly focusing it into the crease. To warm up the crease even more, I'm actually gonna go in with this shade right here. It's just like this really beautiful orange. It's literally an orange eyeshadow. And so I'm just gonna dip my brush into there and I'm going to mostly focus it on the outer portion of the crease. I feel like this would be similar to Chickadee by Makeup Geek. So I am going to warm up the lower lash line and I'm gonna take that orange shade again and I'm gonna dip my head sideways and I'm just gonna gently brush that on the lower lash line. Before I go more into the crease, I'm gonna pop some color on my lid and I'm gonna be going in with, let's see here, let's do this shade right here. We're gonna go into this shadow right here and let's mix it with this shadow right here. I'm just taking my finger 
and I'm just going to press that onto the lid. We're gonna go in with this shadow right here. Let's go into this shadow too. And we're just gonna focus this on that outer portion of the crease. I'm just making sure that it's angled at a downward position and really focusing it on that outer V and blending it into the crease. And then I'm just gonna bring a little bit down on the lid as well, on the outer V. <gasps> Ooh, let's be daring and bold and go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna go back in with this trusty brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. It is super pigmented. We're just gonna pop it right in that that crease. We are bringing so much warmth into this look. I'm definitely going out of my comfort zone for sure. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which I don't know if it's focused in on it or not, but I'm gonna go into this shade and I'm gonna mix in that reddish brown again. We are just gonna focus that on the outer V and blend in. The great thing about these particular brushes that I'm using for the eyes is that they're so fluffy that you really don't need a blending brush as it kind of does the work for you, which is fantastic. Kind of blend this on the lower lash line too. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with a brown. I'm gonna swirl it into this shade right here and this warm toned brown. And we're just gonna buff out the crease. I went back in with that Morphe brush, by the way. Just really buffing out the shades and blending everything out under the lash line. Then I'm going to take this really, really precise brush. I am going to go in with this shade again. Which one was it? Right here. And because it's a very compact brush, I think it would really pop on the shadows. It's just the shades that we put on the lid. And so I'm just going to press that into the inner corner and onto the lid as well. I feel like adding a little bit of a highlight underneath my brow bone, so I'm just gonna go in with the lightest shade and I'm just going to press that right underneath the brow bone, like the arch, the highest point of the brow bone. We're done with the eyeshadow, so now I'm gonna be going on to eyeliner. I'm gonna be using my NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On waterproof eyeliner, and this is in Jet Black. It's just their black liner. And I am going to tight line both the top and the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back into the Morphe palette. I'm going with this chocolate brown right here and just buff that out. Now I'm gonna be using a new liquid liner and hopefully this one will work because every single new liquid liner I've tried has not exceeded my expectations. But I've heard wonderful things about this, and this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is a waterproof liquid liner, and this is in the shade Trooper. It's just their black liner. It's my first time using it, so I'm really excited. This is what it looks like. Ooh, I love the packaging. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna shake it up just a bit. Shake it up, shake it up, ah, ah. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. We'll see how this goes. So I'm just going to lift a little bit of this up. Wow, that is super pigmented. <gasps> yes. Oh shoot, I'm not used to this much pigmentation. Oh no, I messed up my liner. Wow, we're gonna have a really dramatic wing. Okay. This is by far the blackest liner I've ever had and it's a smooth application which is fantastic. And then this might be my holy grail liner. Holy cow. That is an amazing liner. Wow. Kat Von D, bravo! So to set that, I am going to go back into the Morphe palette, but I think I'm going to go into this shade right here. I am just going to press that on the wing, and not only will this lock this into place, but it's also going to smooth out any of the messiness that we created. And then to connect everything, I'm just going to take that, and I'm just going to connect the bottom lash line with the lower lash line. So now let's curl my lashes. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Shiseido Eyelash Curler. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Mascara. This is the Hydrofuge Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's waterproof as well, and it's in the blackest black. So I'm just going to do one coat of mascara on each eye. Then to set that, because it does tend to transfer, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Full Lash Blue Mascara. I'm going to take a little bit of that and apply that to my bottom lashes. To me? To my bottom lashes. So we're gonna move on to face. I am gonna do my brows. Actually, maybe I should just do my brows. Let's do my brows. I'm just going to, first of all, brush them out. I'm just gonna try to create a higher arch, too. Go with the original Tarte Emphasize Waterproof Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse. This is in the shade Medium Brown. Like I've stated before, I love the original. Hate the newer formulation. I'm just gonna outline my brows. Not doing too much work, but just outlining them for the pencil that I'm gonna be using next. And I'm just gonna take the brush and just kind of run through the brows again. I'm gonna be using my favorite new way of applying my brows. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. It is in the shade Brunette. So I'm just going to fill back and forth into the brow. And I hope I'm in Vucus. Vucus? I'm, I hope I'm in focus. 
Oh my goodness, my words today. It's gonna go back and forth, little teeny tiny strokes. And like it mentions, we're really just defining those brows. Then I'm gonna take their little spoolie on the back of the pencil. And I'm just going to brush everything out. Then I'll be trying out a new product, and it's similar to the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel, which I absolutely love, but is so expensive. Essence came out with a version of their own, and this is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I think it's just brunette. Brownie brows, <laughs> that's what it's called. So as you can see, it has a little wand right there, and we are just going to brush that through my brows. This was like a buck 99. It was so cheap. Maybe 2.99. Definitely tints your brows for sure, which works because seeing as I have darker hair now, it'll deepen up my brows. They do have a brunette ver I mean a blonde version as well. I don't know how deep that one is, and I like that even the tip has a little bit of a brush. Kind of like the Benefit their real mascara. You know how it has like a little bit of a bristle at the tip? That's what this one has, which is actually preferable. Okay, so now we're gonna move back to the face. I'm going to contour. I'm gonna be using my Inglot contour powder, and then we are just going to contour those cheekbones. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more, go on my jawline, really chisel that out. I am going to be using my Makeup Revolution blush, and it is in the shade Nude. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush, and this is super, super pigmented. So I'm just gonna be taking my Real Techniques blush brush, and I'm going to tap in it twice, or maybe three times. One, two, three. And we are going to apply this blush. Now we're going to go in with a highlight. I'm going to use my trusty highlight. This is the Champagne Pop highlight. And I'm going to be using my new Morphe 310 brush, which everyone raves about. So I'm just going to take this product, really pack that on, and we are going to... Whoa! Whoa! Look at that... Whoa. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and just really buff that out because holy cow! We've got highlight! Wah! I did not expect that much. I've been using the Dior and it definitely does not give me that pigment. I returned it actually because it was not doing any justice for me. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever, not Makeup Forever, the Makeup Revolution Baked Bronzing Powder. This is in the shade Golden Days. Except it broke! Wah! It broke. Okay, anyway, um, I'm just gonna swirl my brush in there and we're gonna buff that out. I'm gonna take my 55 brush and just gently buff everything out. And now we're gonna move on to lips. So I'm gonna first line my lips and I am using a new lip liner, which I'm obsessed with these lip liners. This is in the shade In the Nude. It's just their nude lip liner, and I am going to outline my lips and fill them in a bit. Now you could keep it like this, or you can do two different options. The first one, if you wanted a more natural, kind of easy lip, you can use this product right here. This is the Sugar Fresh Lip Balm. It's in the shade Honey. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it smells so beautiful. It's really going to hydrate your lips. It's a lip balm, but it's a tinted lip balm, and it really is pigmented. And I would say this is a dupe for the liquid lipstick I'm actually going to use. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dulce. That is the shade right there. It is gorgeous. Then, woo, chop. <gasps> no. No. No, it fell out. <gasps> no. I didn't realize I still had this on my lap. This is a very sad day, guys. I didn't realize it was on my lap. My poor Jaclyn Hill champagne pop just bit the dust. Anyway, to set my face, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray, and I'm just going to spritz that. There we go. This is the finished look for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I actually really like it. It's very, very warm. Perfect for the summer, too. Let me know if you guys like it. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, have an amazing week, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. I'm going to be talking about these right here. These are the prismatic eyeshadows, and they are beautiful.